What is good guys, back with game 2 between ABI and Redemption Fault, he playoffs round 2 and ABI brought the boys the nasty stall and he has no steel type um, but his opponent didn't bring a Tapu Lele otherwise ABI might have been screwed so yeah this is like looking really bad for Redemption because Magnezone is always walled by Quagsire unless it has HP Grass um, Zygarde is walled by um, Avalok potentially by Quagsire if it's not Bennett or DD Chansey also walls it Tornadus is covered between um, Pax and Sableye and he can even go Chansey on Torn if he really wants to because the only special attacker outside of Torn is Magnezone which is already walled by this and every other sp attacker is like physical on Redemption's side and like Redemption is probably Scarf Zone then um, Z-Move could be on Torn, Zygarde or Weewa like he has a lot of potential Z-Move users. Uh, Altaria is most likely a Natural Cure Dragon Dance variant and then Rocks, Ferrothorn, um, Defog, Torn, yeah. So turn 1 ABI can just protect here to get the Mega off for free. Uh, I, if Redemption wants to predict that, he can go for Dragon Dance. And yeah, he's gonna stay in regular form, I think, to keep Natural Cure, because if you keep Natural Cure and you get status, you can pivot out with the Altaria and get rid of the status for a bit. But yeah, this Altaria is not winning the game. There's a Moltres that waltz everything. It waltz Return, it waltz Earthquake, it waltz Fire Coverage move. So Altaria would need to be HP Rock to touch Moltres, Moltres which it's not gonna be. And yeah, Avalok also walls it if it doesn't have a fire move, but ABI does, has no reason to go Avalok on this and risk it. And yeah, if it's DD, um, I guess Unaware Quack also walls it, and if it's not DD, Pex also walls it, but he does Dragon Dance up, turn 1. And now ABI is going to switch out most likely into Quagsire or Moltres here. Um, yeah, Redemption can either attack, which is not going to really accomplish anything, unless he has like Toxic Altaria, that would be interesting. But yeah, pulls a double into turn, most likely predicting the um, Quack to come out, and now I guess he's going to knock off. Uh, ABS is either going to go Sableye or Toxapex here. Probably just Pex, and we're going to see a knockoff, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And we see Black Sludge. Now he's going to just U-turn or Heart Switch here. Well, I guess he can Hurricane and Fish, but that doesn't really gain him anything. It doesn't. Uh, so what's a switch in for this? Magnezone? Um, Magnezone or Pharaoh? Mo if he goes Altaria, he has Natural Q, yes, in case he gets burned, but like Altaria can't do anything in this match, like I already said. So I assume either Zone or Pharaoh comes out, yeah. And he reveals knockoff and gets rid of a choice scarf. So it's knockoff recover, um, very toxic. And the last move, I don't know what it would be, haze scald or something else. I'm honestly not sure. But yeah, now he's just gonna go quagsire. So redemption should just double back into tornadoes or something like that, breaking the quag. Unless he has HP grass, which he doesn't have. Yeah, just volts and ABI makes a safe play in the quag, and ABI has a free scald here because he can just try to burn something. And what does he go to? Goes in a torn and ABI tries to burn. Now um, he doesn't get it. He's just gonna go back into Pex. Redemption is either gonna Hurricane or. Because the Pex is already knocked off, so there's no point knocking again, right? And he misses, okay? So now ABI can either knock again or just throw over Toxic or whatever he has. As he Hurricanes, misses. Um, would have been cool to see the, to gauge the damage, but I don't think it would have done enough at all. And yeah, even if this gets crit or confused, ABI can still go into Sableye afterwards. So now he U turns out uh, probably into Magnezone or into Altaria. But yeah, this is not looking winnable for Redemption. And the Weevil is also like walled by. If it's Bandit, it's walled by the Avalok, by the Pex, kinda. If it's SD, it's walled by Unaware Quag. Like. ABI has like answers for everything, so he's Infestation, Infestation, Toxic, Recover, Knockoff, Interesting, Toxapex set. I think I've seen ABI use Infestation, Toxic before, but that was on a bulky offense team with Hoopa. Um, the team was also on sample teams, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, now ABI is just gonna click Toxic here, I think. Uh, Redemption has to either Earthquake or I guess go for Dragon Dance. And yeah, if he goes for Toxic, that combined with Infestation is gonna work on the Altaria and then Redemption is eventually gonna be forced to Roost. And um, I mean, ABR has multiple answers for this, like I said. Uh, you can just Toxic, yeah, Toxic cannot miss because Toxapex is a poison type, which means it's 100% accurate. And yeah, you can wa do whatever he wants, like you can switch into Quag, into Moltres. I think Moltres is actually the play though, because there's no reason to let the Quag get shipped since the Quag um, can like deal with other threats and Moltres isn't really needed for much outside of Altaria. Yeah, I think Motrus is always to play here. Um, no reason to risk getting crit by the Altaria from Earthquake. And yeah, I assume Redemption is just gonna roost here, because like attacking doesn't really get him anything, right? Yeah, he does go for roost, so he's gonna get take some toxic. And I think we're just gonna see a flamethrower from ABR, and Redemption is probably gonna have to go into his Zygarde here. Um, or if he's bulky torn, I guess that's a, that's an option as well. 
But yeah, let's just go Zygarde on most likely a Flamethrower, yeah. I'm thinking this is just a Roost Flamethrower um, default Moltres. And yeah, last move is either Sub or HP Ground. It just depends on if you want to have Sub to help with the Ban Tita matchup or if you want to have HP Ground to help with the Heatran matchup. Um, it's kind of like personal preference, whatever you want to use if you build Stall. Now, um, he has so many options here, like... He might go on the Avalak, he might go on a Quagsire, he might go on a Chansey. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, goes on a Chansey. What is the Zygarde? Thousand waves to trap boys, but that's not banned, that does nothing. So maybe I can just softball it or seismic toss here, that did absolutely nothing. But like, um, this Chansey has to be the rocker, because ABI doesn't have another rocker, so it's probably softballed rocks. Seismic Toss, and the last move is either Heal Bell Toxic or Confide. Like, in my opinion, Stall without Heal Bell is bad, so I would probably have Heal Bell on it. But you also kind of want Toxic on Chansey, because it's an important move for, like, stuff like Volcarona. And also, um, Blacephalon can, like, destroy a team like this, if you don't have Confide on Chansey. Uh, but I guess ABR kind of prepped for his opponent specifically. Like, this seems to be a really specific stall, because he also has no Steel type, so, like, Lily could have potentially just ran through him. Like, I guess it depends on the Lily set, because some Lily sets get walled by Chansey. Um, but yeah, ABI is just gonna have to softball here. Um, he got some damage off with S-Toss. I prob probably would have uh, softballed the turn before, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, ABI can just play it safe and softball again here. And this is, like, unwinnable for Redemption. Like, I don't see him winning this at all. Um, like, Weeble can't even flinch ABR down. I don't think so, because he has multiple Weeble answers. Like, how is Weeble gonna flinch down a Pex? A quag and a and an avalag. Hello. So going to torn. ABI is free to go back into his toxapex. Redemption is either going to cane. I guess cane to fish for crit confusion. Confusion. Something like that. He has to go for hex. Uh, yeah. No reason to let Chansey get knocked here. I mean, he doesn't need the violet, but it's good to keep. Like he shouldn't lose it. Yeah. He should just switch. Exactly. Goes into pex. U turns and now what do you go to? Like. Magnezone? Ferrothone and get up a hazard? No, he can't get up a hazard. There's a Sableye and a Moltres. He can never get up hazards. Uh, so if he goes Zygarde, it doesn't really get him anything. We've already seen that it... it Zygarde is either Z-move or Scarf. I honestly don't know what it is. It's not banned. It was pretty weak. Man did 30 to the Chansey with Thousand Waves and 26. Hello. Uh, goes on Altaria and... Yeah, ABS is either gonna go back Moltres here or he's gonna throw off a Toxic. Um... Uh, maybe Redemption is just trying to bait a Toxic and like pivot into one of his Steel types, but that doesn't really accomplish anything. Oh, he goes doubles in the Wii while predicting what? Predicting the... Uh, if he predicted the Chansey, props to him. But in my opinion, maybe I could have also gone into Moltres there. Which, um, I think Moltres beats Wii while 1v1, right? Oh, he's SD, so he's probably a Zemo Wii while then if he's SD, right? So is he SD Iceum or is he SD um, some dark move like Z foul play or whatever? I think Jambet used Z foul play once. I think he's probably Z Iceum. Um, so I guess ABI is just it's just gonna go quack here because he's unaware, so he doesn't even care about the SD. And yeah, like if it was banned, it would have been walled by Pex and um, Avalak. And it, since it's SD, Quack can actually wall this. Yeah, knockoff was the play because it would have gotten rid of a Violet, and I don't think it would have Oko Chansey, but it would have done a lot. And obviously gets rid of Quack's as item. And yeah, ABI got the rocks off with up, which helps him. And now he's to just go for the flinch here. Does he get it? ABI has to recover, obviously. Does not get the flinch. Um, yeah, I think he just has to try to flinch it, and then try to get it in range of his Z-move. Or just get multiple flinches in a row if he can't get it in range of the Z-move. Or I guess just go for crit, whatever. And yeah, ABI gets off the Toxic, so he's just a recover Skull Toxic. Uh, probably Earthquake, Quagsire. Um, and yeah, you can just spam recover here and this game is over. This game is super over and yeah, I mean kind of a, not the not the fun game, but like not like a super fun game to watch or anything, but at least it's not like a one hour game. Like I've recorded stall games that were like over one hour. <laughs> this is just like, I don't know, I guess it's over in like a few seconds. One minute maybe, two minutes, I don't know. Like, Weevil is gonna die to poison, even if he flinches the Quag's eye down. He still can't win because like Weevil is on a timer. Um, also, Pex probably lives a plus to hit if it's fist death. Okay, he's talking about his team choice. Or oh, like that. I guess he's not gonna bring a team that's weak to stall again then. So yeah, team. Yeah, also, also, I don't think ABI is gonna stall in game three. But yeah, this game is over and we're gonna get a game three. I'm like 900 million percent sure. <laughs> so it goes for Zemov does nothing. I guess he had to crit there. 
And yeah, ABS is just gonna keep spamming recover. And like I said, even if Quexa gets hexed down, well, I guess, I guess, yeah, he could potentially lose to the. No, he could not lose to Altaria. He has a Moltres. What am I saying? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Really short game, and Game 3 will decide um, who wins ABI versus Redemption the best of three in all T round two. And I'll see you um, guys with that in a few minutes. Uh, peace out, friends.